children of my age, when they were growing up, parents said, no, 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 don't look at that, don't look at that person in the wheelchair. Don't stare at that person who's blind. You know, no, 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 get out of their way, stay away from them, you know? The most important thing is to talk to our children and really um, establish uh, the mindset that they're, that, you know, God has made all of us to be different because, uh, you know, it's like a flower. All flowers are different and they're all beautiful and there's grand variety, so why can't people be different too? I'm the first person that I know of in my family with a disability. And my parents couldn't teach me how to be a disabled person. They just had to learn right along with me and that just repeats in every generation where you acquire a new disability, something different. Life these days is complicated at best, and being successful means being able to accomplish many things at the same time. And this multitasking new world is made possible by the use of the now ubiquitous computer. But what if you have, or develop, a, a disability? Because your access to technology can be hindered by a disability, it may seem as though your life has been plunged into darkness. The fact we'd like to shed light on is that for some time now, within the confines of your very own computer, have been the means and the modes to gain access no matter what your ability may be. Access ability. Get it? Since the distant dawn of silicon time, there have been computer programs to empower almost everyone, no matter what their physical limitations. Did you know that most disabilities happen to people after they become adults? The following real-life stories are about people who have acquired a disability later in life and then use the power of the personal computer to keep their many objectives and objects of their lives airborne. That was thoughtfully considered and well-spoken, Dimitri. I knew you had it in you. Oh, thanks. My name is Jim Mullen. I'm a uh, former Chicago police officer. I was shot in the line of duty in my right cheek, and uh, the bullet had uh, traveled and down and lodged in my spine. And I'm now uh, paralyzed from the neck down and depend upon a respirator to breathe. When I was shot, I really uh, was fortunate to be alive. I was uh, shot in 1996, and uh, during my rehab, a friend brought me a computer, and uh, that's where it all began. When a uh, policeman in the city gets shot, there's a uh, great outpouring of emotion and support for the family from everyone in the Chicago area. It's quite strange. I uh, really became a celebrity of sorts. Mouse down. I was the catalyst of starting this new Stop. company. And we uh, have uh, started designing websites. Double click. The websites are trivia related where you can test your knowledge against the computer or other people throughout the country, we can link you through different players through history and connect you with any player playing in this league today with any other player you can name in history. We are the foremost website out there for anyone that's in sports. If we didn't have this technology, I would be uh, up the creek, so to speak. Uh, 
I would be more dependent on other people. It's a mobility tool for me, really. Without the computer, you're not as accessible because when I surf the web or write an email, there are no disabilities. It's an equal playing field for everyone. Now, it might take me a little more time, but nonetheless, I can still perform the same task. And I'm just like you when we use the computer. I'm just, right now, probably not as fast, that's all. That's it helps me overcome what would be possibly just devastating and a depressing injury into, hey, I still got my brain, I can do a lot. And I do it every day because of my computer. I can get on it, I can go anywhere. My company will be a big player in this new industry. And I'm very excited about it. It gives you a certain drive that I might not have if I was just stuck in my room watching TV. It's, it, uh, you know, it makes you want to wake up and say, hey, what's happening today? Some of my friends and myself started the Jim Mullen Foundation. And what we do is we try to take or accept donations from larger corporations that are no longer using their older computer equipment and put it in the hands of the less fortunate and disabled people throughout the city. At my office, we reconfigure the computers to upgrade them a little bit so that they're functioning better. You know, they're upgraded. Did you ever think about disabilities before your accident? Never, never. Although I always said I never had a bad day, I uh, really never understood how precious or uh, fragile life really can be. Uh, you know, when you're uh, the good guy wearing the white hat on the white horse, you're invincible. That's how I felt, and uh, we know that not to be true all the time. Thank you.